Why is it the last two minutes of, the, of waiting for a direct? That's always the longest. You, as a Smash fan or as a Nintendo fan, nothing will ever be longer for you than those last minutes before a direct. Waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3? Nah! Those last few minutes before the direct. All right, we got we 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 already have an idea of what's coming, and that's only due to the leaks. But I'm keeping my mind open, and hell, I will still be surprised because you know what? I don't ever ever trust leaks. Never, not one time. Never. I didn't even. You know what though? There was one time where the leaks were 100% right, and that was the when they announced the Belmont Brothers. That was the one set of leaks that I didn't accidentally end up running into. I avoided it like the plague. Like there was there there was no way that was catching me. Okay. So anyhow, all right, let's make sure everything's up to up to up to code here. It's about to go down, my G. Cause this is about to be the hardest 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, I, 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 sh I, right after this, I got somewhere to be, so I don't even know when this is going to get uploaded, but you know what? I'm ready. I got, I'll do what I got to do. This, if it's got to be up late, it's got to be up late, but I'm getting this out there. I don't care what I got to damn have to do, <laughs> okay? We're ready. It's seven. It's seven. Where you at? Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. And I'm sorry if it looks weird, by the way. I have been trying to mess with OBS to maybe make it look better, get a better layout or whatever, but I'm still kind of new to no B or new to OBS. So there I couldn't get a layout or I could get a layout, whatever, but I, I could do all of this, but I wouldn't be able to hear anything. So, you know, it's live, right? Here we go. We, we, it, it, come on. It's seven. 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 Come on. We, I know we weren't mistaken. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're, we're there. We're here. It's time. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Isabelle, there you go. King K. Yes, yes. Look at the Ice Climbers Ultimate. Okay. We're rocking. We're rolling. Wow. Okay. It didn't start off with a character. I'm impressed. This is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far... Oh, the final Nintendo Direct. We're not getting a second one. 74, if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire team has worked really hard. With hmm. this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, okay. let's do this. Oh, he gets right to the point! He gets right to the point, we're introducing the... <laughs> there's the click, there's the click, boys! There's the click! There's the click! Come on! Is that Little Mac fighting the... Damn! Look at my boy in HD! It's Ken! Oh my god! Wait, is he an echo or is he his own? Oh my god, look at him! Look at my boy smiling! He's his own! Kind of. Yeah, he is! <laughs> look at how crispy he looks! Is he announcing all of them in this last. in this? Damn, that's a good ass fight! Look at Little Mag putting in the work! Who? Somebody's waiting to give him the work. Oh my goodness, look at that. That smash ult. No, it's super ult, or whatever, his ult. That's right. Yeah. Who is this? Somebody heavy. A fireball of some... Oh. Are you serious? You're serious? They added Incineroar? Oh my god! Okay. 
Yeah, people have speculated this, but I never thought Incineroar of all Pokemon to be the one. I mean, I'll take it. That's cool. He looks kind of, he looks hella clean. He looks mega nasty. Oh, okay. So the last characters are Ken and Incineroar. <laughs> well, all my uh, uh, furry brothers unite. All right. Ken and Incineroar. That's it, right? That's it, right? Ryu's rival from the Street Fighter series is here. Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Oh. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. Hmm. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ okay. from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. Hell Wheel. Hell Wheel? Focus Attack. I mean, they're kind of the same, more or less. Signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. Hey. First, the spinning of Get him. Ryuken. God. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jinraigeku. Hmm. Incineroar. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like That's cool. Pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Okay, its thank god. special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon... It looks better in Ultimate than it does in the game. ...of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. His up special is that? Very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Monstrous! His down special is revenge. He has a counter. With damage, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counter attack. Incineroar's nasty. Max malicious moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z move it's based on. We finally okay. revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. You're lying, Sakurai. Select screen. There aren't oh. very many at first, but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And yeah. once you've unlocked them all... It'll look like this. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Oh! That's cool! I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. What's the amiibo deal? Of course. That is Splatoon that I'm hearing, right? It's gotta be. That's gotta be a Splatoon remix. But of course, all the new fighters are getting amiibo. Oh, they're available on... Release day, neat. You may recall that we're creating Amiibo in parallel with the game. 
Here's a look at the new Amiibo figures. Is Incineroar getting one? I guess not. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, <gasps> they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. We're finally figuring out what the hell this is. And I don't mean the spooky kind. That's ironic. Simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Uh... In the Super Smash Bros. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the Oh no! Look at Tails! Unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive Oh, Knuckles didn't that too. Spirits. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones huh. have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces. And are you telling me that is that what's her name? Hisoka is stronger than Silver? One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. What? In well, this is automatically taken out of competitive, I guess. Extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Interesting. Oh, what the hell? Spirits enhance fighter stats. Support spirits. Pseudo Palutena? Skills. Once the primary spirit oh. and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. Spirit battles. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against a fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are Interesting. some examples of other battles you can expect. Of course, that makes sense. Okay, so it's obviously gonna be like relevant to the character. Like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Gordos are literally DDD's whole thing. Is he gonna hit hard? Yeah. But is he gonna use it like all throws? Yeah, so it's like computers have restrictions based on what the. Oh, maybe not. What happened to his sword? Did he do that in his trailer? I don't remember. I don't get why King K rule. Why we have to fight King K for that. Huh. You have to fight Gearham then? They're showing off a lot of these. Okay, so Spirits Mode is not at all what we thought it was. It's literally just... Like, getting um, trophy. It's literally like the trophies, but useful. Like, we can actually use them for something. Okay, we're showing off a lot of these. 
If the whole 40 minutes is this, I'm mad. <laughs> There's no way. Bodied. With the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Huh. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Cool. Oh, the guardian, dude. Have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. Of course, the, the... the spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. The enemy is distracted by items? Okay. This is so weird. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snaps. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. Ooh, that's gonna be. Oh, that might get addicting. At dojos and the gym. Doc Lewis training spirits. That's amazing. Which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield <laughs> even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Dude, this is literally like are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Oh, you inherit that spirit. That's crazy. The process multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series. But just how many would you guess there are? Oh my god, probably th thousands. Thousands! Fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Nice! Thank god! Help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. That's Yoshi's new final smash? How did- why did he not mention this? The spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, okay, whatever. Here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, Press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game recommend. Oh, that's that's cool. Who can help out with certain conditions? Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. That's so Given cool. The way spirit types interact in battle. Think carefully when building your team, or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Okay, here we go. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. Absolutely, I'm taking that sucker Nintendo online. Switch consoles, press the ZR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. That dashboard is so clean. All right, I'm looking for online. There's for Glory's no back? to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, 
One player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight <coughs> those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. No! If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. That's what I'd like to see, at least. I don't, I'm not trying to play a, a bunch of people with items on. Ranked into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. Ranking? A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a Makes challenge, sense to me. try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly okay. self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't Wow. What? What? Any multiplayer game, People stable connection is very No. Important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if mm. you make your connection as stable as possible. A wired mm. is recommended. I understand. We've a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Elite? Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Don't! Hold on! Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. Oh, cool! If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. Oh, God. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. Because they won't let you make it. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Hmm. Spectator, Spectator mode. mode returns once again so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Yeah. Oh, a two-player team. Okay, that's back. Together online with a single Nintendo Switch system, you'll be paired up against two players. Oh. The same setup. It's not online anymore. That's fair, I guess. Online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle wait in line or even spectate that's what's up it all I'm waiting in line you place your token when you're in a battle arena this should come in handy my phone finally a second game that connects with it you can voice chat with others in battle arenas nobody's using that it may become an essential tool for some players we are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing what on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Dope! Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? Rip Shadow Man. <laughs> Rip Shadow Man. He stayed on his uh, 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 sis trophy after all. Nani. The. Uh, I know the Fatal Frame. Yeah. That's crazy.
We got more assist trophies. Oh! Oh! Pairs right now because we are broke boys we are broke the thwomp oh yeah 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 the thwomp Ugh. he ran right under that on purpose oh man man that's so that's so cool. Dr. Wily, huh? That's crazy. She said, you better bow down. Oh, there's so many, I can see the memes already. I can see the memes. This might ah, Chiggy! Damn, girl, look at you. I mean. <laughs> I mean, look at her dragon form. What a monster. What is Vince from? Oh, from the Art Academy. Okay. I was like, I don't know who that is. Street Fighter. Okay, okay. Go I never knew how to pronounce his name. Giel? That was nothing. <laughs> Akira That's what the virtual fighter series looks like that's scary. He looks he actually kind of scares me The total number of assist trophies is now 59 actually they outnumber the Pokemon this time Assist trophies wow KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd that way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Haha! -ha! Okay, what else you got, like honestly? A variety of other features in the game. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Sure, whatever. I'd rather figure it out on my own. Familiar to veterans. It feels great. To yeah! Enemies off the screen, doesn't it? You can play on many different stages. And you can choose the music, too. Good stuff. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing all-star mode. But now, you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. You can save the replay data of your battles. And now, you can create videos with it. Hmm. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. That's cool. Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Press the button to check Bless. out the picture. Enjoy! The record Ooh, records. Battle history. That scares me. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in One with Wario! ...for some in-game gold. I can- what? Really? Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. If and outfits? Music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. It's a little scary. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. 
The fighter names are also specific to each language. Villager. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Interesting. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Oh, dope! While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi transparent <coughs> so you don't get distracted. That's nice! If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, Never. a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Of course. I want them as strong as possible though. Fighters and Every time. Weapons. Obviously. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. So you don't even get the Mii Fighters right off the bat? Speaking of Mii Fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Yiga Clan, that looks clean as hell. That actually looks badass. The Splatoon 2 set, they still look creepy. Gotta say I'm chilling on that one, but neat. That's cool! <laughs> Never using that. Ray Mark III? What is he from? I know him. Oh, from... What? Is that real? Sure, man. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, what? we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. <laughs> but there are even more coming post-launch. Such as? While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Brothers series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more. Why close the door DLC. when we can add even more bars, baby? We already included every fighter from the past games. That means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not yeah. talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Gladly. At the same time, we will offer the Fighters Pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. So there's gonna be more than five fighters coming later down the when road. Creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. I'm buying everything! The price is $29.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. I may as well buy the fighter's pack because I'm getting everything anyway. I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. Aww. By the way, here's one purchase <clears throat> bonus you'll get with the fighter's pass. It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after oh. planning had started. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. That's cool. That's I, I get that. The Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaara Plains sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. That's cool. 
We've yet to I'll take it. any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. You guys are take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. I'm fine with that. A separate note. Oh. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. <coughs> Huh? What? Wait, whoa, wait. Are you serious? That's right, Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll get <sighs> Rip eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will mm. have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next, and more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. Alright. But before we go... Huh? I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. This is about to kick our ass, isn't it? Bye, Poppy Saki. Oh my! Get away! Why is Fox at the head, though? We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Is this Taboo 2.0? Y'all better move!
me. This is wild. What's happening? That's trippy, bro. And this is how we're gonna be unlocking characters and stuff. So Kirby made it out, so the original few made it out, I think. Wait. Okay! That's that's really cool. Flickering through the void, these little sparks cling on to life. Everyone caught in the struggle, and then the storms of change they fan the flames, scattering ashes to the wind. Every soul contains a whisper of light, gleaming faintly as it dwindles from sight. No escape, no grave. That's really good that they chose Fire Emblem uh, music for this, because that is brilliant. Oh my god! World of Light. God damn. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's more fun than subspace. It was because of the lore of subspace. What were they gonna show again? Pokemon? I think they were showing Pokemon. I don't care about that right now. I'll watch that on my own. But that's that's crazy. I'm I was a little I have to go back and uh, remember what I was gonna say about the online stuff because the whole idea of of like having to go based on what other people's like thing is, like if they if they didn't pick the same as you, if they didn't pick items. That really sucks. Or if they did pick items to use. Oh, boy. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. Anyway, ignoring that, uh, I have some things that I want to talk about. Some things that kind of worried me a little bit there. But, uh... Fox or two elves. Oh, there it is. Fox. Two elves. Thanks. Yeah, we have a lot of <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care. And I will see you all next time.